Yeah, yeah, okay, anything, just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> Tell me what you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. But don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Um... Don't worry about them. Just answer my question. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you will help me escape. Sure. All right. Where should I begin? What can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Sarcophagus replica. Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? No. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt, but, uh... I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Um, please continue. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Messarach, the one-eyed king is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. Who let it to Dracula? Dracula. Uh, what does this have to do with the sarcophagus? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Messarach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years, but this is who is believed to be contained within. Why don't you just open it and find out? Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. You compared him to a vampire? Uh, any reason? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. So, Meserach drank human blood? Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents, don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. How did you find the Ankaran sarcophagus? Uh, that is... You see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site. Following local rumors, studying old maps, it's a complicated process, very boring. 
I'm interested. Please go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Do you really believe Meserak is inside the sarcophagus? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. What else do you know about vampires? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. So, how does the sarcophagus open? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. A key? Of course! Do you have it? How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you have a copy of the key? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated. And I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. All right, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. No problem. Älä nyt sano, että mun täytyy vielä juostakin takasi. <laughs> mä en haluu. Oh, Tallennan taas peli nyt sitten. Toivottavasti tää mun jätkä ei lähde frenziimään ton, kun sillä on niin vähän verta. Kun tota noin, niin se hyökkäs ton tyypin kimppuun ja varmaan söis sen. Oh, kato, se on elos vielä. Oh shit. Jo, tules proffa nyt juostaan kyllä niin lujaa kuin vaan jaloista pääsee. Oot sä mun perässä, oot sä. Oliks täällä joku lyhyempikin reitti pois? Mä en muista enää yhtään. Kuinkahan pitkälle mun pitää juosta? <laughs> Aa, ah, niin ei mun tarvitsekaan tätä huonetta pidemmälle mennä. Täällähän on kai se vene, mistä on joku... Joo, tuolla. Eli mun täytyy siis juosta tohon veneelle ja... Sillä selvä. In the nick of time. Eh, se proffa jäi jonnekin hevon kuuse. Joo. Saatiin vähän lisää informaatiota siitä sarkofagista. Jaa, mitäs täällä on tapahtunut? Käydään vähän kysymässä, että mikä, mikä juttu tää nyt on. Joo, oh. Ilmeisesti tämä meidän Comic Relief-hahmo on vähän niinku päässyt kuolemaan tai jotain. Okei. Okay. With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. 
Someone made a, made a mess downstairs. This is a bot. A pack of shovel heads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabbat animals. So we don't have to worry about the Sabbat anymore? No matter how many times you think you've wiped them out, they always come back. This time their target is the Ankaran sarcophagus. They will not stop until they've feasted on the ancient they believe to be inside. Diabolists. They drink the blood of other va other vampires? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of diablerie. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred, especially older ones, until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. And the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. Uh, you want me to take on the Sabbat by myself? Have you Gorilla do it? He has to remain here in case of further attack, and also to guard the sarcophagus. For this emergency, I need someone with your nerve to guarantee success. The Sabbat have been a threat to both of us for far too long. I'll risk my life for no less than a large heap of cash. A mercenary attitude won't get you far in this organization. But, if that's what it takes in this situation, agreed. Where are they? The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Right under our noses, here in downtown. Kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Yes. Oh, before I tell you anything, I want what's coming to me. Take your money. Tell me. What have you learned? I'm the missing crate from the Dane. It's a key to the sarcophagus. A key? Where? Do you have it? Uh... uh no idea, but you'll be happy to know I killed Bach. Huh. Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you. And to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. I only killed him because, because I had to. Now, I must do the same to the Sabbat. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. Okay. Puhutas Beketin kans. Katsotaan. You can always count on the Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. Nah. Uh, the wrong thing for the right reasons. What does that mean? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna. Which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. Are you an anarch? 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 Whatever? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. Pegetti voisi kyllä ihan hyvin olla sabatti, koska tota noin, niin, se sopii kuvaukseen. Sabatit on yleensä ollut, ainakin tässä pelissä, en mä tiedä niin kuin Loresta paljon paskakaan, mutta tässä pelissä ne yleensä näyttäisi olevan noita gangreleita. Ja Pegettihän on gangreli, eli siis tommonen vitun muodonmuuttaja, eläinvämpyyri. Sitä paitsi sillä on punaiset silmät. Kaikilla sabatityypeillä on aina punaiset silmät. Uh, I met with Dr. Johansen. 
What did Johansson have to say? He said there was a key for the sarcophagus, but he doesn't know where it is. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed. I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. Um, he said it's a tomb of Mesrach, an Assyrian king. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Mesrach, I'll have to research that name. See what I can find. He said the reliefs on the side were a demoness named Lamastu. Lamastu? She was a Lilith figure. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. Uh... Okay, that's everything I know. Does it mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Nezerak and the Lamastu myth? I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. Hmm. You're welcome. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have I have to prepare for my assault. Goodbye, Beckett. Uh, okay. Tota noin niin. Mä luulen, että tähän kohtaan taas hyvä pistää tallennus. Tää peli alkaa tökkiä taas pikkuhiljaa. <laughs> Mut joo, tota, ensi kerralla jatkuu sitten taas ties minkä videon parissa. Mut näkyy sitten. Morjes.